Hi everyone, this is Sky, and I know I haven't posted a video in a long time, but I've been going through some stuff, battling depression and some relationship stuff, and I've broken up with a couple of people since the last time I made a video, and yeah, um, maybe I'll write about that, or I'll talk about that in a later video, but right now I just wanted to do a little something. For those who don't know, I do like art and I do like adult coloring books. I don't do them because I'm trying to channel my inner child, but I do them because it's fun and relaxing. And so I thought I'd share a few random choices of coloring book art. Now, I'm not going to be on, on camera in this uh, particular video because I don't want to make myself look presentable, so I'll just show the pictures. All right, <laughs> so this first one is a an African-American mer person. Their name is Demeter. They are sitting on a rock in the middle of the ocean, and there's this little pinkish, reddish bird whose name is Stockwood. Those are the names I chose. There we go. That's the whole shebang. I used a lot of sparkly gel pens for a lot of my art projects. This next one here is inspired by the 1870s. Um, I'm a person who really is into Victorian fashion. I'm also really into making my coloring book characters um, African-American. So these are two black Victorian people, a kid and an adult. And I just, for some reason, I like bustle dresses. I know it's weird to have like extra padding over your, your ass, but I really like the look. And for the adult's dress, I picked a color scheme, bluish uh, and purplish. Yeah. So I kind of like how this turned on, and I like the color scheme. I didn't focus as much on the child, just wearing a greenish, bluish suit and pinkish vest or waistcoat. And I think the two of them are just going for a walk, just hanging out. Yeah. <clears throat> this next one is two African-American people in the 1860s. This one, I decided to make the person on the right with really, really, really long hair down to her waist. And as you can see, she's carrying some flowers and the dress is kind of a dark purple, but it comes across kind of as gray. And the person on the left is just wearing um, also kind of purplish dress um, with some fringe type thing. And right in the center, there's like a gray-black blob of a coloring mistake that I made. So there's that. <laughs> it was actually a child, but I made mistakes while coloring it. So I'm just like, okay, I'll just make this a gray blob and we'll just call it a gray blob. Doki. This next one is 1870s people dressed for a ball or something. Um, two of them are African American and one is not. I really like the dress that the person on the left has because the contrast of red and blue looks really pretty. And yeah. The person in the middle has a pinkish, purplish dress. What era is this? 1874? 
But the crowning glory is the person on the right here who's wearing this beautiful blue-ish gown and it has a little bustle action and the flowers and I just think that really turned out very pretty. <coughs> okay, this next, this next one is actually a, um, artist rendering of Gypsy Vale from the movie Gypsy 83. So, if you haven't seen that film, I highly recommend it because it's so awesome. And it's about a couple of goth kids. Anyway, I decided to put Gypsy in a dark purple burgundy-ish steampunk outfit. And if you can see, on her arm, there's a little pink bird, and I decided to name the little bird Finn. And yeah, overall, I just love this look. I would wear this outfit if I could, right down to the boots. Boots are pretty cool. I really like this next one. This is from one of my Edwardian coloring books. So I decided that this particular character, their name is Devin, they're non-binary, and they're African-American, and they are either a singer or an actor, and they just got off stage from their performance, they're just sitting in their dressing room, reading letters, gazing lovingly, probably thinking about some suitor whose letter they just read, and Devin is has some, some flowers by their feet, and I like the contrast of purple, of, sorry, pink and white on the wallpaper behind them. Uh, even though I'm not really a pink person, I just thought a little pop of pink would be cute in this particular drawing. And I really love the choices I made with the dark blue and the sky blue dress that Devin is wearing and it just looks like a cozy little setting and I think it just looks very cute especially the uh, pillow down here I think that's really cute <coughs> so this next one this next one is actually me <laughs> in an artist's rendering of me in <laughs> some steampunk gear wearing a purple and white striped dress with a sort of kind of matching fan and some grayish black boots with lots of buckles. I love this outfit and wish I owned it, but I do not. But I do like to sew, so maybe one day I'll make it. And I have some cute little space buns there. <coughs> Okay, so this one is actually um, an artist rendering of a particular YouTuber, actually, whose name is Drew Disaster. I will link her channel below. And I know she's in a coffin, but I just thought that this would be like... Her in comic book form, or coloring book form, and it looks really pretty with a dark purple dress and the dark pink flowers around the coffin. Yeah. If you've ever seen Drew, maybe you see some sort of resemblance, maybe you don't, but yeah, I like the way this turned out. It's really pretty. And so is Drew. You should definitely see her channel. She's very beautiful. <laughs> and so this last one is one that I call the Black Vampira <laughs> because this is a drawing of a black vampire with very pointy ears, very long talons, fingernails, and mascara's running down her face and something's coming out of her mouth. I think people can guess what that is. And I'm a vegan, so I like to 
think that the skull here on her arm is actually made out of resin or something, but <laughs> anyway. Yeah, I liked how this turned out because I'm a huge fan of purple lipstick. I'm a huge fan of just accents of purple, like the arm jewelry and her little crown there with the gray horns. And yeah, Vampira. She is a work in progress, but hopefully I will update y'all when I am done. And I think that's all the pictures I want to show for today. Thank you for watching if you watched this whole video, and I'll see everyone on the World Wide Web later. Bye!